Y'all got a real show, man. Yeah, man, we, 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 we got a real show, show yeah. man. You know, y'all heard, y'all heard it from the man hey. himself, man. Come on, the best interview. Good interview, man. Proud of y'all, dog. I'm proud of y'all, man. Yeah, man. Happy to be here, yeah. man. Coalition, OG, the one and only Mr. Murder One. What's up, Murder? Man, I thought uh, I wouldn't have the energy so we did so much this past weekend, but you have one of my favorites going to be here tonight, so that energy level just shot. No up. question. Oh, no question. It's been an eventful, it's been a definitely an eventful weekend, and um, it, it, again, uh, I was talking to our distinguished guest outside, and we were just talking about that, how um, being busy is a blessing. And um, especially after so much time in the game. And so, yeah, it was a long weekend, but we're glad to, to get it behind us and looking forward to doing it again. Also, I got my brothers, man. They they setting up shop right now on the camera blast. The homie, Keisto and Young Pro from No Regret Media in the building, man. What's up, family? How y'all doing? Yeah, they, they working, they working, they working. And last but not least, man. Our guest is in the building, and this is really a great, great honor for me, and I know for all of us as well. I know I speak for all of us because this is an individual who has etched himself in the history books of not just Houston music, not just Texas music, but the music industry in general because of over 20 plus years of work and grind that he has put in in this game. And not only just putting that grind in, but doing it primarily from an independent standpoint. He is one of the cornerstone members of the Screwed Up Click, man. One of the greatest of all times, man, whether it be with the friend, with the pen or the freestyle. This brother is a billboard charting artist. He has given our city so much to be proud of over the years that he has been in this game, releasing some of the greatest classics to ever come out. And I have to always give legends like this a, a much deserved introduction. Our brother, the one and only Mr. Big Poke is in the building. How you doing, fam? Hey, what's up with you, bro, bro? Man, we are glad to have you here, man. How you been? How you been feeling? Man, first of all, man, I'm honored to be here, man, and I can't complain, man. Man, it's an honor to have you here, bro. And we going we gonna to get right to it. Um, uh, but before we do, we want to make sure that y'all know, if y'all want to call in and holler at the OG Big Pokey, man, the number 713-526-5738. Uh, hit it with you again at 713-526-5738, man. Our brother is in the building. Man, tell us what got you started in music because I heard through the grapevine that um, you were you your first love was, was football. Am yeah, I right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so, so how did you transition? Tell us about the football career and how you transitioned into music. How did that, that take place? Well, ball was always there. You know what I'm saying? You know, from a puppet, man. So, you know. And then, you know, when it was, you know, around like the, the, the screw move movement, that kind of what did it. But it was crazy because I it, in the in the process, I didn't know that this was my future. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So it was just the love of, you know, music and what was going on. And it was just, <clears throat> it was cool, you know, it was just cool. Just, you know, it was just something to do. 
And um, but at the time, you know, I played you know ball, high school ball, college ball, wasn't it? What position was you playing? Oh you man, I teach you anything out there, Reno. But, yeah, uh, I was uh in college. I played uh right and left guard. Gotcha. Uh huh. And then I played left nose guard. I know that's uh, something close to murder too, because murder's son is, is currently oh, yeah. on on that journey, man, and, and, and playing on that offensive that's line too. Dude, that's yeah. a big dude. That's a big dude. Yeah, he's a big guy, man. Yeah, we yeah. we trying we trying to get him there, man. He, he, he can do it. Yeah. So when did you first? I, I always ask people this, especially um, coming through uh, any of the screwed up click legends that come through. Everybody got their. How I Met Screw Story. Yeah. Let me hear your How I Met Screw Story. Okay. All right. All right. I met Screw at my home. It was, it was way back in the gap, man. And uh, one of my homegirls, she had a party or something. And she had Screw to come DJ. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was big at the time. Right, you know right. No saying? doubt. Well, anyway, make a long story short, I, ended up, I met him that night or whatever. Well, you know, we chopped it up. It was cool, you know, and it was genuine, and, you know, and it was brief, but it was cool. And uh, so after that, it was a wild pass. And then my big homie, Mac One, he ended, he he really pretty much like reintroduced us because we ended up going over there to go uh, holler at him by doing the tape. It was me, him, and my partner out there, Joe. And, uh, we went over there, and when I went over there, he remembered the first time, and we yeah. got to talking about that man, and really, it pretty much went from there. Yeah, man. Now, now, was you was you spitting at the time when you met Screw? Have you had you already jumped into nah. the game? Yo. It was the first, my first time. Yeah. Nah. So, you, so y'all just, just got cool, just as just being just cool. chopping it up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I, I, as far as music, I hadn't done nothing but just you know probably freestyle over somebody, beat just right dry, no mic, none of that. I right. Had, I ain't never touched a mic till I went to screw out. Man, that's incredible, man. We here with the one and only Big Pokey, man. So when you got over there, you was, was it something that he had to push you to do, like go on, jump on something, or you was like anxious to get to it on your own? Well, I do it because we used to be, you know, in the hood, we'd be on the corner or whatever and just freestyling. Even at, even in school, we was in school. We, you know, somebody going to freestyle or something, just, you know, just tripping. And so I wasn't ever scared to do that. Nah, no and so it, it, we went over there and did that, and it, it went from there. Okay, now everybody knows about the um, the iconic June 27 track man so when when did that come about how long had you been over there getting it in before y'all actually recorded that because I, I don't I'm, I'm not familiar with the timeline on the year right. that y'all dropped we know the date yeah. but I don't know the year when y'all laid that well I I had been over there for a while yeah. then by the time we, that tape occurred right and and it was crazy because when that when that tape occurred, that, you know, Demo, that was his his birthday. And he was just doing the tape for his birthday, and you know, he he hit you know a couple of people and just told him, man, hey man, y'all come mess with me on my birthday thing. And before you know, it, when everybody showed up, everybody showed up. It was you know it was live over there, and and for, that's what ended up happening. It was deep. I just remember we was we was all over there deep. I remember we was it was a bunch of us standing in the kitchen. They had young, young was over there, and and, and uh, man, we was just—it was a bunch of us over there, man. Yeah. It was just—it was, you know, it was yeah. an epic night, though. Just hungry to, to, to get, to, to waiting for your spot, waiting for your turn to come around. Oh, yeah, man. and yeah. everybody got to, you know, touch the mic and yeah. whatever. Not, it was, it was cool, you know. Nah, man. I mean, that's that's one of those songs that that's gonna last throughout. The, it's, it already have lasted throughout the ages. Right. It's gonna last for more and more and more generations to where the youngsters coming up gonna be checking at it. Cause soon as it come on. It's like everybody already know. Everybody already right, know. Right. So, so that that had that have to be a great feeling to know that you was a part of, of that particular oh, yeah. song. No doubt. No but doubt. but the beauty of it is that you have your own hits, your own songs that you have put out on your own that have become just as classic and just as iconic. Now you dropped your first solo 
studio album in like 99, right? Correct. So you're talking about the 20-year anniversary right now of your first release right here in 2019. Yeah, man. It was, I think it was around this month, too, or something. Man, like that. that's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Years, yeah. So so when you when you think about it from that point of view, man, I guess looking back, looking back at it back then, did you see yourself... 20 years from then still being as relevant still being as is what you are now you just felt like man i was man i was i was shocked then that i was dropping an album <laughs> i'm like man i'm fit to really drop a, a, a record man yeah. an album man it's you know so i was you know i was kind of like you know my my emotions not on the surface yeah. mine is you know so but on the inside, I was just kind of like, you know, like, yeah. damn, I'm really dropping the album. So, you know, it was, I was, you know, kind of intrigued by the whole thing. Man, I, but but the, the thing is, is that when it came out, I, I guess nobody would never know that you might have felt like that because when it came out, it was so well put together. It was so polished, so perfectly laid out. The production was on point. The lyrics was on point. So I would assume that you kind of already had a grasp of the direction that you wanted to go before going in. Man, kind of, but I mean, no, kind of, but yeah. no, nah, I was, I was, I was learning. Gotcha. I yeah. was, I was, I was learning. Cause now I'm like, man, I got, now you got to, it's, you ain't just ain't just no freestyle. You got to sit and you got to write your rap. Yeah. And I like that because I get to say what I want to say. If I could, if I freestyle, you might be to miss something. Yeah. You know how that be. Yeah. But when you can sit down and get on their pen and just give give them what exactly what's on your mind, I, I, I like that part of the game too. So I I had to, you know, I had to. I came a long way with that man because I used to man, and I got a thing where if I'm writing it and I'm not feeling it, I'm not gonna finish it. Gotcha. So. When I turn it over to you, if I done played with it about seven times till I'm ready to say, okay, this one, then that's the one that I'm going to get. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, and I just been moving like that. So in the beginning of my career, oh, man, it, it might take me about an hour, hour and a half to write a verse. Right, right. right. Because I'm writing it, I get up off it, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about it this here, you know, and, you know, now, you know, Twenty years later, it's you know it's it's, it's a whole new ball game. That's that's nothing, but it took me a, a while to have to you know to get there. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, you 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 grew into your 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 veteran level, you know, because in the in the beginning, sometimes, like you say, that's your first effort. That that first, that's like like you said, man, I got to I'm getting ready to fight this dude. He he huge. I gotta I gotta knock him out with that first punch. Right. So you looking at that as your first punch? I gotta hit him hard. You couldn't play around with it because you might not get that second opportunity. Right. So I could see that. Plus, being most most great artists are perfectionists anyway. So even if it's good to the <clears throat> 50 people in the room, they saying it's good in your mind. You like. Nah, I could do that better. Right. You know, so that that's what it is. But we're here with the legend Big Pokey, man. Uh, screwed up click, man. The legend, the cornerstone. We are honored to have him in the building. If y'all want to holler at him again, the number 713-526-5738. And we are in the building, man. Now, some of, murder talk about you all the time, man. That's murder, 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 one of your biggest fans. That's my love, man. I'm, I'm definitely, <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. And that's what we get to. It's like, my favorite song always was Keep My Name Out Your Mouth. Murder okay. Like Hardest Pit in the Letter, you know, it just, yo, man, what, how would you describe your style as an artist? What kind of rapper are you if you had to categorize yourself at all? I, 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 I really don't, I don't know because I'm, I, I, I still, even now, even, you know, I, I still transition. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, it is is I, I don't I don't I don't know how to describe it because it, yeah. it it could come off aggressive it could be finesse it could be finesse aggressive it could be I I don't know yeah we he just made up a new it's finesse, finesse aggressive that's finesse and aggressive <laughs> it's finesse you know what it is but 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 you know you unique though you know you have your own sound you have your own style and and it is it is laid back you do have a laid back aggressiveness aggressiveness to yourself because I don't never hear you just getting loud or, or out, 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 out of volume, you still be on a smooth tone even when you slashing. 
You know, even when you <laughs> tell them to keep, keep keep my name out your mouth. So sometimes that's more intimidating than somebody hiding in your face because that calm cat is the one you got to worry about. Right, you know, right. and um, you did so much legendary mm. stuff. The, the, the Dope Game 2000 album was definitely another yeah. another classic, man. And, and again, albums that that charted, man. This was back in the Southwest wholesale days. You know, yeah. we always bring the yeah. artists on yeah. and talk about the old days where people was buying physical copies, man. Yeah. Do you do you like miss those times in terms of how records were being moved and sold now as compared to then? And how have you transitioned from the physical to the digital world in 2019? Well, I, yeah, I do. I'm, I'm, I remember those days. I, 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 I miss them a little bit because I remember how the, you know how it was, and back then it was just so plentiful how it was going on. But as the game changed and whatnot, I like it this way because the. By doing it like this, it allows the artists to really eat off themselves. Yeah, no doubt. Versus you didn't want to label somebody getting a percent of this here, and they just middle man it for if you get a real with a real label yeah. or, you know, whatever. And this allows the artists to really, you know. Just uh, get, get straight to the money. Yeah, and it yeah. gets it's straight to him, you right. know. So I, I, I like that part of it. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. I yeah. mean, and, and then the, also the point of, an artist like yourself, a veteran artist like yourself, being able to transition into this age. Because a lot of cats got left behind. A lot of right. cats didn't want to come into the new way. Right. They was like, man, I, this the way we did it then. And, and, and it's principles of that that still apply. But if you want to continue to do it, you got to get with the times. Well, it's, it, it's, it's, it's like anything. It's about surviving, man. Yeah. And to survive, you have to adapt. No question. It, you know, climates, areas, wherever you go, you got to adapt to everything. So it's the same thing with the music. You just got to adapt and and, and but stay true to you. Thank you, thank you. That that you stole, you snatched the thought out of my mind because I was going to ask you how do you adapt and still remain yourself, and 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 that's that's I think one of the situations that a lot of older artists have had because you see guys that are forty years old trying to put on skinny jeans now and dance around like the young people yeah. and, and they don't go over because that's not who they are. Right, 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 right. Man, that's beautiful, man. We here with the legend Big Pokemon. I see we got a call just came in. We'll take the first call for the OG and then we'll keep it moving here on K Reno Radio. What's going on, caller? Yes, I just wanted to say uh, peace to the gods. K, you might love. This is Dean the Barber. What's going on, my brother? What's going on, brother? Let's see you. And to my bro, Big Pokey. What's up, bro, bro? I just wanted to call and, and, and tell you personally, man, I'm proud of you. Man, I you sure know, appreciate you. I saw this you. venue when we was in high school, brother, before high school. Right, <laughs> right. Real talk, real talk. So, hey, I, I typed in. I just wanted you to think about something, man. Back in the day in the breezeway in school, you boys would be late to class rapping and singing in the breezeway. Yeah. And I'd run through there joking and yell, go to class, and what would be fun? <laughs> <laughs> Already. Yeah, we're not going to put that on the radio, but I just wanted to say, man, I love you, and I told you, man, we've been waiting on some stuff. Right. Please, bring some good stuff for these youngsters to follow, bro. Right. And that's, that's for K2, bro. You know I support you one hundred percent. You have supported me all my life, man. Man, it's, no, it's number love, day. And, and I had to call and say this. It's not often that we get together and we're able to talk, you know, and, and really put it out here, man. No, man, we thank you, brother. You know what it is, Dane. It ain't number love, family. We 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 all connected one way or the other, man. So thank you for calling and you know, you know, you you you, that, you my boy. So you know, we gonna see you around, fam. Appreciate that, man. See that that's the love that the OG get, man. Ollie just said he's one of H Town finest to ever grab the mic. I gotta say, he's a legend in the game. You know, these are the people tuning in on Facebook Live, man. Look, it's an honor, man. We got the man himself. Hey, tell hey. tell us tell us your um key to longevity for lasting this long everybody has a, a formula but do you is this something you can tell people to say hey man this is how you can be around 20 years later and still getting it oh man first you got the first thing you, you know you got to keep your head together some kind of way because right. you know that 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 collapses over with 
But uh, for the most part, man, you got to figure out a way within yourself to stay motivated and stay hungry. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody not going to motivate you, pat you on your back, tell you, come on. You got to be doing it. You got to be getting it. You got to motivate yourself, push yourself, get out here, get these songs done, be where you got to be, be on time, be accessible. Answering your phone, working their phone in the daytime. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, you just got to just stay focused on your focus, man. Now, you you are probably, I ain't going to say probably, you the first person that I ever asked that question about the key to longevity, and he said you got to keep your health together. Mm. I mean, that's really the ultimate answer <laughs> because it's like at the end of the day, it's nothing that you can do if you're not feeling up to doing it. All, all that it plays a role and goes in the recipe of longevity, no of, question. Of, of, you know, being, you know, there are twenty two decades or whatever you got to you got to last. Right. No you know? no no career longevity without physical yeah, longevity. You got that, to that, last, that. Man. One run precedes the other, man. That, that <clears throat> that's a beautiful answer. And um you also said to, to stay motivated because we know that in this music business it's it's, it's peaks and valleys, it's ups and downs, it's gonna be moments when it's real good and it's gonna be moments where it's real bad. Do younger artists come to you and, and do they kind of like lean on you for that kind of advice when they're going through the, the tough part of it? Yeah, I got a few of them there, man, you know, that, you know, call and confide in me, man, or whatever. And I chop it up with them, man. And, you know, I get to them like I want somebody to get to me. Man, yes, you know? sir. Absolutely, man. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. I mean, and, and that's the key. You know, we, we can't sugarcoat nothing in this game because the advice we give somebody can take them to the left or to the right, right based on it, man. And, and you know, we want to see everybody succeed, man. We want to see. Have you ever thought about or had it in your mind to do, to jump on the other side of it as well and do like the label thing or, or bring artists up under you and manage them? Yeah, I, I, I definitely. That's I'm um, actually kind of, I'm more so leaning that way or whatever, but I got a couple of things I got to tighten up, yeah. you know, with me independently as far as what I, you know, got to do with my what a situation. But I'm definitely thinking that. And and I, I, I got my eyes on one or two cats I can really didn't, you know, right. feel like I would entertain that and really, you know, give it my all in that. How, how would you go about it in terms, of, is, is that something that you would look at and say, when I do that, I'm going to put my fullness into that particular artist? Or would I say, or would you say, I'm still being an artist myself. Would you how would you balance that or would you just say I'm gonna get all the way out and focus on these artists right now? I would I would probably I would probably juggle us both. I wouldn't take on a bunch of artists because I want to, it's the same thing like with, with dogs with me too. I don't want no yard full of dogs. I don't want no dirty <laughs> dogs like that. Give me, give me one good boy that I can, uh, that I can invest Man. all of me into. Right. And I can build from him. Man. You know what I mean? Because, so, because I look at it, man, as, you, you know, don't, you know, when you, when you take on that role, you know, you kind of, responsible for somebody's career yeah. as well as I'm, I'm an artist too. Right. right. So I won't, I won't, I would want to be dealing with somebody that, you know, if I had to get, you know, in, in bed with them on a venture as far as some business or whatever, I want somebody that's all the way, you know, who, you know, give me everything they got in, you know, you know, we trying to get there and make something happen. You know, now, Different strokes for different folks. Some people will take on a few artists and, and man, let me get this in and let me do it like this. And it might work for them like that. Right, you right. know, I, I've seen some people do it and, 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 you know, actually get some things accomplished or whatnot, you know. But for me personally now, I would give me one and get him to where I want to get him. Right. And not, I would probably balance the two off of mine and his because it'll probably pick it back. Right. Not try to juggle too many like right, that right. you know a lot of times it, it, when that happens it's, it's, if, if it's always going to be one that stands out above the rest on the roster then you might have issues with guys feeling slighted it's all like kind that. of you got to deal with yeah. all kind of stuff depending on what kind of artist there is is you dealing right. with with a time bomb is he going to be in and out of jail is, <laughs> is, is, is no is doubt. It, is it, you know, all kind of things, man. You gotta you gotta think about that when you time up your time and your money. It's like it's like a pro sports team trying to determine the kind of player they're gonna draft. They looking at character as well as talent. 
And sometimes yeah. talent can 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 be great, but like you say, this guy's getting in trouble. This guy's doing things outside of the the playing field that is not reflective of, of what the, you want. The to do. homeless don't want no quarterback that's a live wide party. Right. They, really, they want somebody that's that's just, he like to study. He like to watch film. He right. you know he low key he married. He at home with his family. He, you know, he, he that's the kind of quarterback we want. We don't want one of, like counterbacks out there. They turning up in the club. They, you know what I mean? So the game, the game has to come first. Right. You see that that that's that's lessons being taught by the OG right. Big Pokey. If you want whatever you put into this, is what you're gonna get out of it, basically. Right. You know. So we're gonna take another call. I see we got a call on the line for the OG today. What's going on? We KD is on the line. What's up, brother? Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? Good. You got a question um, for the OG? Um, man, I'm just trying to trying to see what's up with the OG, man. What's I'm up, calling from, calling from Dallas, Texas, man. Oh, uh, really? What's up, D-Turn? Turn, turn your you radio. Good? Turn your radio down too. Okay, then. Yeah, yeah man. All right, go ahead. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, man. I just got a question, man. Uh, we still putting out new albums and stuff. Yeah, I'm actually working on a project now, man. Oh, okay, bad. Yeah, I'm trying to see how how can I get one. Do you, uh, cause I'm all the way in Dallas, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all down uh, in H Town. It'll be on all the platforms. It'll be, oh. yeah, it'll be on all the platforms when I get ready to drop oh. it. Plus, I'll be promoting it on my IG and things like that or whatever. So, I'm looking at dropping it before the end of the year. So, it'll drop in 2019. It's called American Bully. Oh, American Bullet. Okay, yeah. man. Yeah, man. I, I used to get CDs from Matt Grace before he passed away. He used to mail me CDs. Right, right. I was up here in Dallas, Texas. Already, already. Appreciate yeah. the love, Mr. KD. Call in anytime, man. We thank you for calling in. All right, appreciate it, man. Already, right, KD. Already, man. Well, like I say, once again, man, we're here with the legend, Big Pokey. Screwed up, click, man. Get a lot of love right here on Facebook as well. Um... Hugh O'Reilly, I see Ollie Bryan, Michael Texas Mike, everybody shooting in, man, to just, just, just holler at the OG, man. It's, a, it's an honor to have you here. And we was talking outside because I was like, man, you know, we run into each other from time to time, but never just had a chance to sit down and just chop it up after all these years, man. So it's big for me as well because I'm a fan, you know, and, and people might say, well, man, you know, y'all of this, y'all of softball coalition, this, 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 man, look, we have so much admiration for what y'all did for the city of Houston, man, that it's unbelievable because things happen in segments. Like, okay, you you had to rap a lot. You had the SPC. Then the SUC comes along, and somebody always had to come along to take this thing to another level. And I could say that y'all and you definitely did that. Big brother. Man, no I question. appreciate it, bro. You know, it, hey, you know, but man, hey, man, y'all, y'all set it out for us, man. It, it, you know, it all starts somewhere. You know, it, it you know, it, it just all everything triggers something else. Man, you man, know, that's man. just that's the name of the game, and that's the beauty in it, man. It's a, it's a cycle, man. But we 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 just we proud of you, man. I, I just think back. Because a lot of the people that you work with, like like Jaime, have done some of the classic tracks. You Harvey Love, you right. know these are all our guys. These are all the guys from from the era that oh, we yeah, came up in. Yeah, right. So it, it was it was beautiful to see how that all came together. And people have this rap. Do you believe in this uh, concept that Houston don't stick together? I think it's elements of that in every city, but I don't subscribe to it the way everybody else. Man, Houston don't stick. I don't really. Subscribe to it like that. I I I don't put too much thought in that. I can't really say, you know. But I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I, you can't listen to anything, man. It could a lot of shit be, be poison, man. Right. Just you sitting there listening and you thinking of that. I don't look at it like that, and I look at it like now. What I do think is, I think t that we have a lot of talent down here. Yeah. I'm talking about a lot of talent, and some, and these, some of these young cats, these, these cats is dangerous out yeah, here. Without a doubt. And we got a few females, too, out here. Man. You know, so I just feel like, man, it ain't nothing, it, it ain't, you know, we can't do nothing but evolve, man. You know, I feel like we all need to support each other. You know, that's the, you know, the main thing. You know, you got to support, support your own. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know. We should do that as a city anyway. Right. I totally agree, man. I, I I don't I don't think that it's as bad as everybody make it out to be because I base it on 
history. I base it on what I, I already have seen. Right. And I've seen this artist work with this artist, that producer work right. with that. I've seen the, the, the intermingling of, of everybody, the combination. So I don't I don't ride with that 1,000%. And I'm proud of what our city has done. Now, am I, am I 100% satisfied with things? Absolutely not. Right. But it could always be better. But in your opinion... What is the difference between the Houston market as far as industry-wise back when you started compared to now? What's the difference you see, if any, if any at all? Oh, man, the market? Uh, Just the game itself. Just, well, yeah. well, back then, man, you got to keep in mind, man, we're coming from uh, our underground platform and then going mainstream. We were... We said hundreds of thousands independent. Come on. Out, out the gate. You know what I'm saying? That's how everybody was getting their deal. They come out with a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. And all this was independent. And the thing would be, boy, if them chicks like that was coming right oh, now, Lord. with the way it's set up right now. Lord have see, mercy. You know, the less hands touch the money, the bigger the bank. Come on now, man. Come on now. Right? So, you know, you know. Yeah. I, would, I would tell you, man, I'm glad you said that because it's like major labels, they have what they call, you back in the day, you see this guy, with, uh, the new guy, just his album just getting ready to drop. He shipped platinum. Okay. Right, right. We had, through Southwest, and the, and the, we had, the pre-orders. That, that was our version of shipping whatever we was we was right. going to ship. So uh, a big pokey or kiki might be getting ready to come out and already 50,000 of them already accounted for. You know what I'm saying? That's That was the beauty of it back then. And like you say, if, if those type of checks was popping right now, can, can we get that going again but just in a modernized way? Is that possible? I think so, man. It just—it's all about—it's all about grind, man. Because at the yeah. end of the day, can't nothing stop or beat that. Ain't no way around it. Yeah. it if a nigga just grind, man, you can't stop him, man. It's, it's his time, and he grinding right now. You no, just can't. That's, that, right. that's just between him and the Lord, man. He might well just get out the way of a roof on. No doubt. Certain principles never die, man. Right. That gorilla, that gorilla grind don't never die. I don't care how advanced technologically we get. We got a few calls lining up, man. Everybody want to holler at Big Pokey tonight, so we going to get it popping, man. I hey. see David is on the line. What's going on with you, David? Go ahead, David. Oh, we, oh, okay, we got a uh, DGG bag on the line. Go ahead, brother. Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? Can you hear me? Yes, yo, sir. Yo, what's up with it? Oh, yo, man, what's up, Paul Dina, man? I've been a huge fan, man. Listen, first off, I want to give a shout-out to K. Reno, man. We he had a show uh, 4th of July, man. I had a great time being around. You know you a legend. I tell you all the time, me coming from South Park, I studied your pen. I just want to give you a shout-out, K. Reno. Thank you for being there. God bless you, brother. Uh, Thank you. Okay, man. Me and my friends, man, we, your name is always in the topic of discussion. We talk about not just greatest artists in the city of all time. But of course, my top five in the city, but we mean just top five MCs, period. You know what I mean? I remember when I got out of high school, that was an album that you dropped with, I believe, with Chris Ward. I believe it was the, the Mob, Mob Life, the Mob Life. Yeah. It was a double CD. Right. That was just one song you did when uh, you rapped off the... The Jay Z Mama Loves Me beat. It was like, you know me, Mr. 713, straight up out of the yellow. Made mistakes, but I got it together. Broke bread, it was cold, so I shot of my liver. If I got it, you can get it for me, dog. It's whatever. <laughs> I can't find this song anywhere, bro. Nah. Did they take it down? Did you? Did you I do don't. It? I don't even remember that song. But what I I, I will do. I asked I asked Chris because he might he might just have a couple of physical hard copies around. You know he might I don't know I I don't know. I, don't I had know. those CDs forever. I was one of the first when you first dropped them. I had got it. We spent our money and I even got two for my partner. We love you to death. You know what I mean? I love y'all too because I'm not sweating. <laughs> yeah, it was on that it was on that Jay Z. Uh, Mama loves me beat. My mama loves me. I, 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 I was the kid. I put that up somewhere or something, man. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm going to try to uh, find that CD, man. Because somebody just asked me recently about that CD, too, man. Yeah, 
Well, yeah, Pope, man. I probably, you know, I probably got in my collection because you handed it to me personally. So, oh man, I can't do my little okay. thing. Ask, asking you <laughs> shall receive. <laughs> hey, thank you for the call, my brother. We appreciate that too, man. Appreciate you, buddy. No problem. Thank you, guys. That that's the kind of love that the OGs get. And then I'm I'm laughing because he went into the verse. And then I'm laughing because when you done drop so much heat. He can't remember. Poker like, man, I don't even remember, don't remember, remember what. But that's the beauty of it, man. man. That's the beauty of that's it. That's the beauty. Man. We gonna keep it rolling, man. I, I, we gonna try to get David on right now, and holler at the OG, Big Pokey, man. Go ahead with it. Go ahead, David. Uh, shit, I love your music, man. But uh, you two came with bro. Watch the language. Watch the language. Thank you, though. Oh, my, my bad. It's all good. Uh, Thank you, though. Yeah, but uh, I was going to ask y'all what y'all think about uh, that new Maxo Cream signing to RCA. I'm not familiar. Oh, he's, he's a rapper out of the Southwest. He just signed to, uh, to RCA. Oh, did he? Yeah. Okay, when did, when did that take place, you know? Uh, like in the like past like month or so, I think. Oh, well, oh well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to look, look for it, man. man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep my eyes open for it, man. man. Give us Give that us name, name again, again so, so the people can be looking out for him. Anybody, anybody, anybody that's going to shine, shine, we want to help him shine. shine. Yeah. What's uh, it? Uh, Maxo Cream. Say it again. Maxo Cream. I heard I heard that name, though. I didn't heard that name before. But I, I, I'm i not familiar with what you were talking about, though. Yeah, he's in here. Yeah, I just want to see if y'all knew anything about that. If y'all like uh, what y'all know about him signing the RCA and stuff. Okay. okay. Thank you so much for the call, David. We appreciate that. And and actually, um, just and I'll let definitely let Pokey expound on that too. Um, anybody that's just advancing and being successful out here, man, we one hundred percent form. Um, as it relates me personally to signing with RCA, just make sure you got your stuff together. Don't let don't let that machine just just take you out like that. Make sure you got your business hand strong, yeah. straight up. Yeah. I'll let the OG talk on that, too, if you want to throw something yeah, in. Yeah, you just, man, it's, it's real tough, man. Just, you know, when you get to dealing with things of that nature, man, you just take care of your business, man. Mm. Take care of your business, and your business will take care of you. There no you question. Go. Shout out to the OG PSK13. Just hit us up. He spelled it out for us. Maxo Cream. M-A-X-O Cream, man. So we appreciate that. And um, everybody that's tuning in, man, we got people flying in all over the place. We're going to take this other call and get back into the question real quick. I see Richard is on the line. Go ahead, Richard. Hey, man, what's going on, bro? How y'all doing? <laughs> what's up, Richard? Richard? Yeah, man, I've, I've been seeing y'all from the beginning. Well, maybe not from the beginning, beginning. I was in the scene back in 97. I was in a band called Aftershock. I quit all that for a little while, and, and I've, I've been supporting y'all ever since. Good to see you doing it, brother. Already, man. That's what's up, man. Appreciate when you. When you going to drop something, bro? It's gonna be it's gonna be before the end of the year's up. It's gonna be toward the end of the year, probably around November. I'm looking at now. Man, I'm not trying to plug <clears> myself <throat> like some people. I didn't even call to say this. You need a remix or anything free from me, bro. Okay, okay, that, brother. <laughs> okay, hey, you're amazing, dude. I hear them plugging you before I really heard you, and then I started hearing you. I said, I now I know why they plug. <laughs> yeah, for real. That's what's up, man. Thank you so much, Richard, for the call. Call in any time, man. We we welcome that. I've been supporting KPFT for 30 years, for sure. Wow. Wow, man. That's what's up. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Shout out to Chef James that's tuning in, man. We here with the legend, man. And as y'all can see, when, when the legends come out, so do the people, man. I mean, your music has always been music that I think that everybody can relate to, whether it be male or female a lot of audiences a lot of artists their audiences are, are kind of imbalanced in terms of it might be they mainly have just a male dominant audience i mean when your songs come on traditionally when they come on in the club we see everybody get up we see everybody into it and jamming and um what what do you attribute that to is that something that's just natural or did you consciously say i want to create that balance where everybody can listen to my music and enjoy it Man, like I say, man, it it, it, it just kind of unfolded how, it, you know, unfolded, man. I just, you know, I just went in faithful, man, and did what I did, and, you know, and it just unfolded how it unfolded. And here we are. The homie Keith Stowe from No Regret Media, he wanted to ask you a question, yeah, too. Yes, sir. I want you to speak on the importance of Big Mo in you, man, because, uh, 
I, I grew up in the days of the cornbread days, and I remember when Mo got his white navigator, and you had got your navigator. Yeah. And I remember some of the video shoots that y'all used to have. I never seen you smile as much as when you was around that cat, man. So no, if no. you could speak about the importance of Big Mo, man. <laughs> hey, that dude, that's, first of all, man, that was that was a good dude, man. That's you know that's my dog, man. We uh we come from the mud together, you know, but uh. He 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 really low key a comedian. A comedian, so he's gonna, you know, he's gonna have you laughing about all kinds of stuff or whatever. So ain't no telling what we were laughing about. But yeah, man, and um, you know, man, I, and I, man, I miss him, man. You know, I I I wish that you know he could reap these benefits too of seeing man how valuable he is to this culture, man. You know, out here, man, and he got a lot of love, man. I, Everywhere I go, man, I see him, man. They, they, every, they, they love him. They, yeah. they love him, you know. And, and I, you know, I love that form, man. What do you yeah. think about Big Baby? Flavor, yeah. I like, I like Big Baby Flavor, man. That's my nigga. He a good nigga, cool dude. He gonna be, he fly, he ready, and she the nigga hungry, man. He try, hey man, anybody hungry trying to get it, man. I'm fucking with you, man. I ain't. Watch the cut. <laughs> <laughs> we got it, we got it, we got it. We got it, man. Fuck, my fuck, my fuck. Yeah, but I, man, yeah, yeah. I miss the flavor. Yeah, all right. I don't know. Let me ask you. Sounds just crazy. like Mona. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did it, it make was, you tears? It's crazy. Yeah. When I first heard it, I was like, man, I sound like Mo. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's where's he from? Y'all teaching me something. I, 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 I ain't up on he it. From here. I'm talking about what's what side type? Really? I don't know where he from. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, right, man. He's gonna have a clock. That's what he's gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna have to teach me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to teach me, man. But see, but that that's that's what influence do, man. Just have somebody set the tone. I see. I saw the little white girl. Singing Bar Baby at that time, and it went viral. You man, know what I'm saying? That was yeah, so, I mean, that was we true. never and, know. And Wayne. Yeah. Well, talking about the Bar Baby, I think Wayne kind of did something or something, man. You yeah. know, so, yeah, man. You know, and he, and, and, and see, really, see, this is one of the things. See, Mo was, he was mad talented. Like, right. like I say, I didn't. And you know, a point in time, I didn't know music was, you know, my calling and my future. For, you know, I didn't know that. He, that was his thing. Right. So right. he kind of like, he deserved it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I ain't gonna say, you know, but he, but he, yeah, he deserved it because he been, he, he was, he was doing music, you know, even before he, he was, you know, doing, with Screw and all that. He was, you know, he had other little stuff going on and, you know get his feet wet or whatever so that was his main thing if i'm not mistaken because yeah because mo was on um i, I think rap a lot had a, a, a sub label called sing a lot and i think mo was with them if i'm not mistaken i but think they had it was some kind they had a group of some kind of second verse or yeah, something man it was yeah. something like that i remember it was something like that man. or whatever but mo man you know like mo man mo used to sing and rank on you at the same time nah, <laughs> you know they would easy to do stuff like that man School, oh, uh, you y'all be in there and it's quiet. You know, you be in the class and, and it's quiet in there and, and the door be open. And then he 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 just got a hall pass. He in the hallway, so he been seeing you in the classroom. And he gonna sing something to, about you, and everybody gonna be laughing. Man. Certain personalities, man, they just stand. He out. got yeah. their personality, yeah. and then and then even even when they gone. You still remember it like it like they was here yesterday. Man. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. We here with the legend, Big Pokey, man. Yo, I, I want to ask you about the um the international market. How how have the international market received you? Because I know a lot of people have have branched off just from H Town to getting their love overseas. Was that has that been something that you've been man, benefiting I, from? I've I've man, I haven't fully tapped all the way into it, but. I've been getting a lot of love from a lot of places out there. I've talked to a few people, uh, I, um, Germany's, uh, yeah. Norway's, China, uh, and so forth. So I've 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 talked to a few people that I know that my music is out there, or whatnot, and they, you know they ask me when I'm coming or whatever. But uh, that's something I plan on doing, you know, very soon is getting out there and tapping into that market. Man, you know? that'll be beautiful, man. I, like I say, um, we look at. Anything that anybody does out of Houston with pride. I remember watching you on the, um, I think it was the BET Awards. You went out there with, with uh, 
was it Paul Wall and all those guys when 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 yeah, the, they, when they, they was popping like that? I didn't go that time. They was the I was supposed to go. I didn't go. I, I saw you I, on one of them. Where'd you go then? One I of them award say. shows. You was on the stage. I don't I ain't no telling, but I didn't go to that one. I know which one you took. Was you up there one, with Mike Jones like, and all them? No, nah, that's I wasn't at that one. That was the one that it was wired up too. Okay, yeah, cause man, I could have swore I, I saw you on one of those award shows, and I was thinking to myself, I said, man. I'm more proud to see him than I'm, I'm proud of all of them, but I was right. more proud seeing you in that in that. I got I got to see what that was. I was watching, man, because right, right. I mean I ain't that old. I mean <laughs> my memory ain't that bad. But uh, but it's it just the fact that a lot of the the the, the things and in, in, in the milestones that you have reached are things that somebody who don't go we don't go to school for this we don't go to no trade school or no college to learn how to do this everything like you said come up from the mud right they gotta be they gotta be a great feeling man it, it, it actually is you know it is and like i say man you know even you know at, at this point in my career man it's still exciting for me yeah you know what i'm saying i just you know i like watch the way the game's going like i say you gotta adapt to what's going on but it's still it, it's still exciting you know people be like man you you get you get tired of that don't you man i really don't never do man i don't never do man that's crazy i saw you perform years ago at a um might have been at a like a it's like a record store and it was more like an intimate type of setting mm -hmm. and you was up there performing that, I think that's my first time ever just seeing you just getting down like that and after every song that you perform you would say to the crowd hey I love y'all I love y'all you know yeah. showing your appreciation to the fans speak on that in a time where a lot of artists they, they got the big head and they feel like they are beyond communicating with the people who support them well you not you not you not you know, the artists, they, they get the fame and, 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 you know, whatever, they get the bag and whatever, but I'm not bigger than the fans, Come man. on, man. You know, because that's what makes the shit pop. You know what I'm saying? These people go spend their hard work to support you and your movement, what you got going on, man. You know, you, yeah, you, you, you know, you. You know, people, you know, you kind of feel like, man, I'm the artist, man. They come to see me, man. I don't want them nothing. You do owe them. Right, no doubt. Man, you, you do owe them. These people work, you know what I'm saying? And however they provide, whatever they do, they take act. Come on, man. To, 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 to you know, to mess with you, man. And, and, you know, so, yeah, they come for something, man. Come on, man. You know, so, you know, you, and, and, and at the end of the day, man, we everybody here for everybody. Man. Yeah. You know what right. I mean? So... You can't. You're not bigger than. You're not bigger than the fans, man. And and it's it's people that you know the music game, but you know to show you it happens. Right. You know because you got people, man. You know it could be a fast take where they got into the game and, and had some quick success and ran into a bunch of money that they weren't prepared for, and you know they can soup you up in the dome, man, yeah. and mess you up mentally, man. You get the power tripping, tripping and feeling, you know. And then that's when rock bottom come into play. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? And some people end up, you know, you learn the hard way, but it humbles you. And you that know? fall is a lot further from that high up, man. The, oh, yes, sir. The importance of what's, so in that regard, what's the importance of having real people around you that can tell you the real deal, not just somebody just yes man and all the time? Well, yeah. And it, but see, all that. They reverse back to the person. Yeah. Do you do you keep yes men around? Come or, on. Or do you yeah. keep one hundred? You know, like me and my partners, we you know ain't no. We it, we it's bigger than music. We right. was, it was before this, so right. that that don't mean nothing to now one of us when we talking about us. Come on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you might you might catch them talking to me, and you might feel like. Somebody don't know you might feel like they the artist, right, and then right. you, know, you know that's just how hundred it is. It ain't no yes man, and it is here and ha huh, and man. And, right. I don't, I don't, right. I don't, I don't, I don't. That ain't real friends. Keep, they ain't gonna keep get you no ground. Way. Yeah, yeah. Real friends keep you ground. We the, we the same way, man. It's like you know, it's things that me and Murder could say to each other. You know, it's like just it it, it might have to cut sometime, but it's like you rather hear it from somebody who you know. 
got love for yeah, you. Got yeah. your best interest. You know, it's a hundred, man, and it's genuine, man. It's coming from a good place. No doubt, man. We are here with the legend, Big Pokey, screwed up click, man, the icon himself. Let me ask you a question, man, like, because you work with pretty much everybody out of Houston. Name me pr probably a couple of producers, man, whether it be local or worldwide, anybody that you haven't worked with that you would like to work with, just one producer. Oh, man. Oh. <sighs> Man, there's, there's a few of them out there. You know, you got to say the doctor, man. Yeah, you know, man. You got to say the doctor, but you got, uh, you know, you got the Dre's, um, you got the, the Tim's, you got Mustard, you know, you got these these producers, you got Cadets out there, you got Puffy producing. It's just, yeah. You know, it's just, a, it's, it's just a bunch of good production out there. You, uh, the boys are... Uh, uh, with London on the track, all that, and you know, it's just a lot, a lot, a lot of greats out and, there, man. Yeah, and yeah. as well as out here, that's under the radar that people don't really know about. You know, it's it's, it's some hot, um, it's some hot producers out here, and as well as that, since we're on the topic of that, man, I'm looking for some of y'all, man. Yeah. So, man, reach it, uh, get at me. My IG is at SUC Big Pokey, man. Get at me. I'm looking for some of you uh, producers, man, and I'm trying to get y'all on this project, man. Let me tell you, did y'all hear what he said? The OG is looking for producers, man, to get down with him on this project, and 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 if you up and coming. You got to jump on that. You got to jump on that because sometimes it ain't all about just the bread at the beginning. It's about establishing your name. And if you could jump on and, and, and lay something up under a man like Big Pokey, then that's going to take you to, to a level that you might not have been on had you keep going on the path you was going on, man. So answer that call, man. Definitely, man. Let me ask you this now. If, if in your whole career of all the things you've had, all the successes that you have, is it anything that you, you could rewind time that you would do different? Hmm. Through my journey? Yeah. A lot of people say, nah, uh, I keep it. I, 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 really, I really would, man, because I, 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 it's crazy, but, you know, honestly, man, I, 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 I take the bitter with the sweet, you know what I'm saying? I, I just do because if, if, if I give back my struggle, I got to give back my strength. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't, I, I, I just take it out in stride, man. Dropping some old man wisdom. He <laughs> said, if I give back my struggle, I got to give back my strength. Because you know what, what don't kill you, sense. make you strong, yeah, man. That, that's you know, that's struggle, man. wise words, wise words. We got a, we got time for maybe one or two more calls. If y'all want to get in, we probably got about five more minutes with the great big pokey. So 713 526 Five seven three eight. We are here, man. So again, the new project is getting ready to come out. You you got a date when you get ready? To drop I don't have a date, but I'm aiming towards you know like around my birthday, like around November 29th, that and towards the end of the you know some end of November, so something like that. And the title of it again is American Bully. American Bully, man. You know you do not want to be bullied. By Big Pokey, man. You don't want him to show up at, at the schoolhouse and snatch your lunch, man. Hey, you it's know. so Pokey. Yo, yo. Uh, what we gonna do on that birthday, man? With me. Your birthday oh, coming my up. Birthday? Yeah, what we gonna do, man? Man, I, I, don't, I do not know. Ain't no telling, man. You know, I'm um, around that time, man, I'm really sporadic. But if, you know, depending on if, if I, um, do deliver the album around that time. Hopefully, it'll be some probably around that. You know what I mean? Now you still got a lot of people. Uh, the homie Yusef say I would have liked to have seen you in the pros. He's still trying to put you on that football field, man, fam. Me too, man. Oh, yeah, I have another question at that. Yeah, go too, ahead. Hey, it was rumor, but I think it was facts that uh, when you was just coming out of college, was you actually working with the Texans? Nah, nah, but uh, what actually did happen, though, man, when I was in uh, Abilene, I ran for the, what it was, the Combine League, and it was the Dolphins and the Bears, and I ran a good time, I did do that, and uh, I was under the radar, and I made, I, I, I tripped out, and, um, Ended up getting kicked out of school for some. It, it was it was something that was really it didn't really have nothing to do with me. It just trickled to me, and then when it got to me, some kind of way, 
me and one or two more cats had we had to leave, but yeah. you know everybody else. It was, but it, 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 it you know whatever. But yeah, so I I I, I had uh, man, I had you know good experience. I almost had. I feel like if if that wouldn't have happened, and I would have stayed and played my my last year. If I would have stayed here, I probably would. I know I probably would at least got to, you know try. It. Right. I would experience that or whatever. Uh, but I think I, I think I really would have got in there, but it didn't happen, and it was, it's crazy because that happened, and then a year later, man, I had signed with Universal Records. Hey, man, hey, we we planned, but then God got another plan, hey. man. I got a big. Uh, this is this is gonna be a big Jack Yates question. Uh oh, that's my stuff now. R.I.P. Yeah. to the, one of the greatest that ran running back over there, Johnny Jake Bailey. Bailey. Yeah. What do you feel yeah. about Johnny Bailey? Hey man, the truth, you know, the coders never did it and got away with it, man. Yeah. You know, uh, I man, I, I got so many memories of of, of watching him run that ball, man, yeah. when I was a little boy. You know, coming see you. That was he. That was an era back when Jay when even the band members was gangsta. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was, yeah, it was not lying. It was, it was crazy back then. But man, my cousins, you know, man, just going to the games, man, and and watching that, man, and and um, man, you know, he, you know, he was the truth, you know. And then what he did down there, there and I, you know, so. Yeah. And and he had a chance to play under Walter Payton. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and he up. and he, you know and he won down there. Yeah. All right. At this, and I, I was at that game. I was a little boy when they uh, be permanent. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I was in the ninth grade because they bumped they bumped Sterling off the, on the way to get down. Well, so. They got they got us. <laughs> yeah, 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 I remember so, so. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real yeah. real quick before we shut it down, we got about a minute left. Okay. I want to ask you a question. I know people have probably asked you before. Are we gonna ever see a screwed up click album? I don't know. I can't speak on that. You know, uh, yeah. I, I, it will be nice. You know what yeah. I'm saying or whatnot. But I can't speak on that and. You know, everybody got, you know, got their own agenda, you know. People, everybody got things going on, different things, different ventures or whatever. So, it's, I don't, it's not on no aspect of that. It's just everybody just, you know, got, you know, like I say, their own agenda. So, I, I can't say, you know. And, that, and that's a blessing, though. Yeah, know, Everybody it is. working. It is. That's yeah. why I say it's not really, yeah. it's not a bad thing. Yeah. It's just I, I I don't I don't know. You gotta man. see what what life yeah. takes it, man. Right, right. Well, I tell you what, the good man. thing is a, it's a lot of us still in that movement, still working. No doubt. No so doubt. that's a good thing. And that again, that's a testament to y'all's work, man. And and again, I'm honored to have you. Ain't no us without y'all, man. man. Hey, hey, I'm, look, bro. I'm honored to be here, man. Brother, and and you welcome many time, and I thank you for coming through. We all do. And y'all make sure that y'all support everything that Pokey is doing, has done, and is coming out in the future, man. And we will see y'all next week, man. Hey. k Reno Radio, the one and only Big Pokey is in the building, South Park Coalition, Murder One, Keisto, Young Pro, No Regret Media. God bless y'all. Peace and love. Thank you. Yeah, I got a clear show, man. Yeah, man, 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 we got a real show, man. Y'all heard, y'all heard it from the man himself. Yeah. Come on, the best interview. <laughs> 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 That's a good interview, isn't it? Proud of y'all, dog. I'm proud of y'all, man. Yeah. This is the director of the station, too, for the homie Don, man.